out here at Galvez Court and uh, it's completely destroyed. A tornado came through here last night and just destroyed everything. Oh no. A lot of water damage in every house here. Random pinfish, not in the water. If you've been doing real estate long enough, you have a story. One that just uh, really stings. And if you've been following along with this channel, you have seen me do all kinds of real estate deals. You've seen me do everything from fishing to closing beautiful beach houses on the Gulf Coast. And I've been able to be involved in some really awesome real estate deals. Well, <laughs> this is one that I did not expect. See, last year I was in a real estate deal on Pensacola Beach and uh, it started as a smooth process of you know going to look at these awesome properties on Pensacola Beach and seeing like how a lot of them are made well some of these properties are a lot older and they've made it through every hurricane that we have seen here on the Gulf Coast from Ivan all the way to Sally and if you've ever been involved in buying a luxury property well the real estate agents do a lot of back and forth and they have to really know what they're doing from everything from the inspection process to the contract process to earnest money and talking to international clients this is basically the most elite agents in a city talking to each other about how they're gonna get a deal done for their client. So we got this property under contract for about $1.5 million. And we went through a, an entire 30 day inspection process where me and the other agent went back and forth for the entire 30 days to figure out what repairs we're gonna, gonna do because, because we had to get the insurance for this house. And as you know, here on the Gulf Coast, getting insurance on a beach property can be really tough. And as you'll see here in this video, rightfully so, um, we, we shopped and shopped and shopped for insurance and we were able to find a policy uh, to, that would allow us to get this property under contract. And the seller had to do a few repairs to get us there and we met middle and we got this property under contract. And <laughs> I'll never forget the text. I'll never forget when, so we were one day from closing on this property. The commission was $30,000 and I got a text message and I never thought when I opened it up what it would say and it would say this. There was a picture <laughs> of this house missing a metal roof and basically the 155 mile an hour windows were gone out of it and the air conditioned units were pretty much ripped off the side of it and I was like mmm what could have caused this? Okay, I've seen hurricane damage. I've been through hurricanes. I've been around tornadoes, but I've never seen, <laughs> just out of the blue, a tornado come off the Gulf and just rip through an entire neighborhood. And vlogger nature that I have and go and see, well, the news journal had already been there. They were coming out of the neighborhood while I was going in and the water was quite deep. I'm out here at Galvez Court and, uh completely destroyed. A tornado came through here last night and just destroyed everything. And oh no, a lot of water damage in every house here. And I, I'll never forget, I found fish in the road because it's a tornado threw fish into the neighborhood from the Gulf and from the Bay. Random pinfish, not in the water. And nobody believed me when I said that, but it, it was true. There was fish laying on the ground. I remember standing there in front of this house, this big, beautiful house, and thinking that $30,000 commission is gone. And the other agent looked at me and he said the exact same thing, that his was gone too. The house was going to take a lot of renovation. And I'm not going to show the inside of the property for respect of the the clients but just from what you can see from the outside but it was going to need a lot of repair same with all the other properties throughout the neighborhood they uh, were quite damaged i mean whole walls were caved in i want to add here that not only did the tornado destroy the roofs and everything but it rained in these houses for hours eight hours and depending on what part of the storm the the roof was damaged 
that means sheetrock damage, electrical damage. It means a lot of things inside the walls. It means mold. It means mildew. It means getting a team in there to mediate the humidity, to get rid of the humidity, to because uh, as soon as the sun comes up in the summer, that is a sauna. And it just creates a whole bunch of problems that you just don't foresee. Um, and it goes, especially in a multi-story house, the water starts at the top and goes down through the walls and the sheetrock all the way to the floor. So it's not about just going in and mopping up and cleaning up. It's about repainting. It's about airing it out. It's about all these things that you don't quite think about off the top of your head until the agents, the home inspectors, the roofers get in there and be like, hey, look, this is going to be a year-long renovation. This is going to be hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of, worth of damage. And, and that's tough to see when you're talking about million-dollar houses and you're wondering which ones have insurance and which ones don't. Because some of these properties... Believe it or not, some properties don't have insurance because it's expensive to hold insurance to some of these old properties. And this house had a metal roof. It had, it had been hurricane proofed and it showed that even that sometimes is not enough. And for those that weren't hurricane proofed, well, they did not well at all. There was one side of the neighborhood that you couldn't even get to. People were pulling their stuff out of the houses and just laying it in the streets. Even the sheriff's department was walking through the neighborhood just saying, you know, WTF. We kind of felt a tad defeated because we had been under contract on another property in the neighborhood and it was destroyed too. It wasn't quite destroyed, but it was pretty rough and we wouldn't have been able to close on that property. And then we went into the other property and then this happened. So it just wasn't destined to happen in that neighborhood. My clients were great sports about it. They, they understood that these things happen and there was really nothing we can do about it. And this is like really the part where having great agents that are able to, to negotiate and talk through massive problems like this and figure out what needs to be done. And we were able to cancel the contract. Everybody was able to just go their separate ways and things worked out for the best that they possibly could at the time. It was just a bad situation. But what are the big takeaways of this? And I really learned, you know, I've thought about dropping the insurance on my house a few times because it was so expensive. But having insurance, you know, especially on a large property like this, because uh, there's a difference between a house being a $200,000 house and the roof costs 10 grand and the insurance premium being 10 grand. There's a difference when the roof costs, you know, 75 grand, you know, and like having insurance, to just have insurance, do your best, you know. <laughs> the second one is make sure your house is prepared for hurricane and tornadoes. Hurricane clips, strong windows, strong doors, having the right roofing material. And, uh, you know, just basically when you hear that there's a storm coming, prepare for it. Put the garbage cans up. Put things down that can blow away because believe it or not there was parts of other people's houses hitting other people's houses and going through windows there was chimneys there was things flying all across the neighborhood um there was uh <laughs> i just can't even explain the stuff that launched from one side of the neighborhood to the other you know batting down the hatchet also when you're on a real estate deal know your contingencies if something happens how do i get out of it and what are we going to do if we get out of it? Have the paperwork work prepared and have a plan. Talk it over with your client saying, hey, we're two days before closing. If this, this, and this happens, here's what we're going to do. So you're not caught off guard and you know that it's not the end of the world and we can work our way out of it. With this deal, we were able to just submit contract cancellation. Um, obviously, this was an unforeseen thing, an act of God, an act of nature that nobody could really see coming. And it was just one of those things. And lastly, there is a rule. This is my rule. And it is that vacant properties, sooner or later, something happens to them. The longer they sit, something will happen. Usually an act of God, a burglar, a squatter, um, a water pipe bus, a fire happens. The longer a property sits, whether it's on the market or just vacant, something will happen to it. <laughs> And this just happened to be one day too early for us all to get in there. But I'm glad that for my clients that they didn't get in there and this happened. But if 
it sits. I had another one where the carport got ripped off of it during the closing process. I've had uh, pipes bust. I've seen homeless people they come and make themselves at home. I've seen all kinds of weird things happen to properties that sit. So just keep these things in mind. And I had to document this interesting thing. And if you're a real estate agent out there and you've had this happen, or if you're a homeowner or a seller and this has happened where just some act of nature showed up, an earthquake, a fire, comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.